Hey, what is going on guys? Paul1, and today you're watching a the type of gameplay, or the kind of gameplay that, uh, you know, you're sitting in a lobby in Call of Duty, and you're really, really bored, and you're sitting with a few friends, and you're thinking, what kind of gameplays are literally impossible to get? What, what will never be done? And you're talking to Jim Bob, and he's like, oh, a triple Moab with the Javelin. And then you realize that Carnage Clan just got that gameplay. So... That is the kind of gameplay that this is. I know a lot of you guys are probably in shock and are just wondering what the hell is going on and that this is impossible. There's no way. That's literally... There's no way you can possibly do that. And right now you're finding out that it is possible. So I'm going to be explaining a lot. First off, I want to start off with um, saying that this was the kind of... This was actually the gameplay that was the... Um, turning point of the Carnage Elite Team. So, if you guys know the history of the Carnage Clan team, we started it as an Elite Team in Modern Warfare 3, and we just did Clan Ops, and we were really, really competitive. We topped, top, we, we placed top three, or actually top five, in a lot of the Clan Ops out of, you know, 30, 40,000 clans. We really, really took it seriously. It was crazy. And eventually we started working together as a team to go for and figure out weird spawn traps and weird gameplay things that you could go for, and things that would be impossible. And, um... You know, we found the Sanctuary Trap, which is, you know, just nobody knew about it. It was, no one ever would have thought of this. We figured it out, and it was just insane. It shows how bad the spawns are in Modern Warfare 3. It really, really does, uh, especially on some of these DLC maps. These spawns need to be fixed. It needs to. Infinity Ward, even now, should go back and fix these spawns because it is just ridiculous. And uh, we're kind of just showing how bad the spawns are in this gameplay. Um... As you can see, they are spawning in that back corner. And uh, we basically just cap B and C. And they spawn at A, but instead of spawning on the flag, they spawn in that back corner. And if you block the spawns on the left and the right side, you can see guys, you know, down by that little wall. And then we're over by the left side by the actual A flag. Um, it kind of blocks all the spawns. And then they, they do flip to B and C. And we have guys there that kind of kill them off there so they don't cap the flags or flip the spawns and all that kind of stuff. But this, you know, this gameplay is definitely not, it's not a hard gameplay to do. It's not an impressive gameplay at all, period. It is not impressive. It's definitely unique, but it's not impressive. And we, I want to make that a, you know, I want to make sure you guys know that we understand it's not impressive and that we're not just sitting like, oh my god, this gameplay makes us, you know, this is like just the best gameplay ever. It's not. It's definitely not. And, um, you know, the spawn trap is actually probably more impressive than the actual gameplay because this spawn trap is extremely hard to set up. You need a very, very uh, good team with good chemistry to set this this uh, spawn trap or this trap up and just hold the spawns, I guess you could say. It's, it's almost impossible to set up unless, you know, you have a team that's really working together. I don't think a single team or anybody else has ever set it up after us doing this gameplay or accomplishing this gameplay like a year ago. Um, and... If you guys are new to the Carnage Clan in the last like five or six months, you probably don't know about the quad Javelin Moab that we posted, but uh, we got a quad as well. That was our best, or the most Moabs that we got with it. We got this triple as well, uh, and I think we got like a double and a single, but we're not going to... I don't think we're, you guys are ever going to get to see those, but um, yeah, that's a little spiel on all that. So yeah, this was one of my favorite times playing Call of Duty, honestly. Modern Warfare 3 was my personal favorite COD. I had a lot of fun playing with friends and stuff in the game. Um, but going for kind of gameplays like this, it's, 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 a, it's a ton of fun. It really is. Like, getting a bunch of your friends together and figuring out these weird spawn traps and then uh, executing them and working together as a team and holding it down and figuring out the strategies. It's so much fun, and we love doing that. Now, if you guys didn't realize, we posted a 7500 to 0 on Call of Duty Ghost Drop Zone. It was actually the world's first. And uh, that's kind of us coming back to what our roots were, our original roots, going back for gameplays like that. We, we've we been doing that ever since, but we never really posted them to YouTube. We never thought you guys would really want to see any stuff or any more gameplays like that. So we're kind of going back to our roots after you guys gave us a tremendous amount of support on the 7500-0 on Drop Zone. You guys absolutely loved that, and that's what we're here for. We were trying to figure out what you guys exactly wanted to see. We know you wanted to see unique chem strikes, so we brought you that, but we wanted to kind of go even further so we kind of started testing different things and uh after the 7500 to oh we know what you guys want to see you guys want to see those crazy teamwork gameplays and that's exactly what this is it's very very team based in this gameplay um and yeah like i said i want to state it one more time this gameplay is not impressive literally anyone can sit here with the javelin and shoot it into the spawns anybody could do that 
Uh, I mean, the only thing is, I guess, aiming in that certain area, you have to kind of get that back wall, otherwise it won't go anywhere. And you have to kind of, as you can see, it goes perfectly through those tree branches. Sometimes it hits it and almost kills them. Um, but, I mean, other than that, it doesn't take any skill whatsoever. The spawn trap is really where the skill is at in this gameplay. But that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. Um, I'm kind of curious on how you guys are going to take this gameplay. Uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. Like I said, it's not impressive. It's just, you know, unique. It's different, team-based, and it kind of shows our roots. And uh, I really do enjoy this gameplay. It brings back a lot of memories. So anyways, guys, it's been Apollo, and hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Leave a comment on your thoughts on this crazy spawn trap and how bad the freaking spawns are. Oh, my God. And uh, also, if we could hit 750 likes on this video, that would be pretty sweet. And I will see you guys later. Leviathan This starts with a violent end It's Clash of the Titans then The sky collapsing I relax the abstract